Good morning. We've had a lot of rain here. Maybe 70 mils over the last three days. So even the mulch, the hard chip mulch is quite wet. Although you can see, yeah, it's quite wet even under underneath now, which is great for start of summer. Um, here's our beast compost pile as it is now. Um, this is some four months later, I think. Um, so what's uh, good is that the meat hasn't spread into it all that much and um, because it's such a deep hot layer I think it helped um, initially just keep the roots of the uh, peppermint um, chocolate mint at bay and then I've planted uh, strawberries so you can see from this angle so my strawberry seedlings have doubled in size since I put them in a few weeks ago. One obviously hasn't made it. I think it's been bitten at the stem by something. And you can see the quality of the soil underneath. Um, very loamy, rich colour, uh, lots of life and activity in it. So I'm very happy with that experiment. Um, I put some chickpea and other seeds in which are coming up as well, which is unusual in our climate. So it's obviously very rich. And um, I'm about to plant some more tomatoes in there and some basil and other companion plants in between. So we'll have a nice patch here on the kitchen garden bed. Uh, we're mainly growing um, herbs, flowers, uh, leafy greens and a few uh, little s summer squash this season are coming up because it's been so wet. Okay, hope you enjoyed that um, follow up on the compost beast. Um, definitely worth the investment to build up your soil um, by uh, basically a layering of straw, uh, cow manures, um, loosen hay, and I'll link the video so you can see it in um, more detailed description. Thanks, have a great summer.